Well guys, if you have an RTX 3000 series cards and you're not doing these things, you're missing out on life of your card, performance, and for sure, temperature and noise. Now, RTX 3000 cards, especially the non-TI cards, which came out a little later, have come out in late 2020. So as of right now, it's over three years. Well, it's getting to three years after the release. So what happens after you have a card in the market for three years? Well, either it has been used for three years or it's sat there. Either way, especially with mining in the middle, both the thermal paste and the thermal pads, which are a very much overlooked part, they grade and lose a ton of performance. So today I'm gonna show you why every single one of you should repaste, repad their card and clean it to get better performance and all the benefits we listed at the beginning. Now, what do I have here? This is a small four-factor PC, which actually has an RTX 3070 Ti in it and an i9, I put it together for a very cheap price, if I told you, you wouldn't believe it, but yes, it's around 1,000 euros, and it performs very well. But especially in this look, Ghost as one case, thermals are very constrained, so we need to squeeze out every little last degree of temperature that we can. So today we're gonna be cleaning, dismounting, repadding, repasting this card, and showing you how you can do that for every single one of your cards. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is to just go into your PC, the open the side panel, take off the card and actually clean it with some compressed air or with a small compressor like the one I use. Now, after you've done that, it's actually time to disassemble your card. Now, every card will be different. What we have here today is an RTX 3070 Ti Founders Edition card. So this one has those little magnetic caps that you have to remove. Under those caps, there are some torque screws. You just have to unscrew those and then the whole part will lift off. Please pay attention to just how small the actual card is. It's very small and this goes for pretty much every 3000 series card. The actual PCB is tiny. Now, if you have a different custom, you usually have to just remove the back plate and the four screws actually holding the cooler. So it's gonna be actually much simpler. The Founders is one of the most difficult cards to take off, uh, at least in my opinion, it takes a bit more practice. You also have to take off the I.O. shield on the back, which has some extra torque screws. And you also have to disconnect your fan cables because the actual PCB will be lifted off uh, up, from upside down. So you do that and then you will have your bare PCB on your card with your die, memory chips and thermal pads. Now, the die is your actual GPU, it touches the heatsink and that's where thermal paste goes. Now look at this one, look at how dry it was, okay? It was definitely time to replace it. And now the thermal pads, they are very, very damaged. So what you wanna do is replace those one as well. Now, especially if you're running a 3070 Ti or higher, well, these cards run with GDDR6X VRAM. And now GDDR6X runs a lot, a lot hotter than regular GDDR6. So you need to replace those pads. If you have a Zotac card, which has overheating issues, you should be doing that even if the card is new, actually. Now, for thermal paste, I do recommend just regular MX6. I will put the link to it down below. Arctic is a good partner of mine. They make, in my opinion, the best paste on the market at this very moment. So I do recommend that for both CPUs and GPUs. The way you apply it is very subjective, personally. I just like to spread it out. Now, this time, I just uh, put it there, I use some cardboard to just roughly uh, spread it out just to cover the whole die, but then the pressure did the rest. You really don't need uh, to uh, manually cover everything, but you need to make sure that everything is covered or you will break the card. Now, the most intimidating part is actually doing the thermal pads. Now, doing the thermal pads is not as easy as you see because you, there are two things that you need to do. First thing is get the right thickness and online information, guys is not gonna be good for you, don't trust it. Because, for example, for my RTX 3070 Ti, if I looked online, there were people telling me it was two millimeters, people telling me it was one millimeters, etc., etc. Now, thermal pad thickness goes from 0.5 millimeters all the way to three millimeters. Now, how do you measure it if you can't rely on online databases? Well, very simple, okay? Now, for the RTX 3070 Ti, I'm telling you, if you have a Founders, it's 1.5 millimeters all around, so just do that and you will be fine. However, how did I figure out how thick it was? Well, I just went there, took off the old thermal pads without breaking them too much, 
put them on my desk and then measured it close to a thermal pad. Now you might be wondering, yes, but you had three dimensions of this thermal pad from Arctic, the TP3. How can I do it without wasting money on three different sets? Pretty simple. Just buy this set that I have here, which is the 0.5 millimeter set from Arctic, okay? Buy this one. Why, you might be wondering, it's the smallest one. You can stack the thermal pads one on top of the other until you reach your desired thickness. This will not significantly reduce performance, okay? So, just get 0.5 and stack it up. Or again, if you can afford it, slash, if you're gonna be doing more cards, just buy all three kits as I've done, and it's gonna be easier. Now, you measure it up, make sure it's the same height, and now you need to cut it to be the exact same size of the original parts. I use just a box cut for this. You can do it uh, with in many ways, but be sure you get it right, because if you get the thermal parts too large, it can actually interfere with the mounting pressure and it can cause severe overheating. So please double check this. So once you have all your thermal parts properly mounted, you need to replace them, especially on the memory. And then you can also replace them on the VRMs. The memory is the one right around the core and the VRMs is the rest. Now the VRMs, you don't really need to, but it's recommended. But if you're lazy, just do the memory. That's what really matters, okay? Uh, if you have a 3080 Ti or higher, you will also do, need to do on the back side of the back plate. So, um, you have the front side that touches the heatsink and you have the back plate touching the back side You need to put the thermal pads in there as well. So please double check that now once you've done that It's just a matter of closing the card off again Being very attentive to the actual thermal paste and then testing out the difference and in our case the difference was phenomenal The card previously was going all the way to 98 degrees on the core So we dropped around 20 degrees on the core now we have the hot spot that's going to around the 100 degrees, but that's good because the hot spot is the hottest point in the whole card and thermal junction is 125 degrees, so we still have 25 degrees of margin and the hot spot is expected to be around 10 degrees higher than the core clock. Now, if your hot spot has a bigger delta, a bigger difference than 10 to 20 degrees from your core clock, you have a mounting issue which we need to fix it. Now our VRAM dropped by 20 degrees as well. And now VRAM overheating on the 3000 series card with GTR6X is the main reason why performance is hindered. So you really need to do that. So with that said, there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't do it. I do recommend you get just some MX6 and some TP3 thermal pads and just go ahead and, and replace it immediately if you have a 3000 series card. And it goes without saying, if you have older cards, you need to do it even more. But on older, older cards, you don't actually need to replace thermal pads. You can just replace thermal paste and clean the card off. So please do that and write down there in the comments what your results were and if you need any help. See you in the next one guys, bye!